Hey folks, welcome to On the Bench. Today I'm going to tie a March Brown soft tackle. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For hook, I'm using a partridge check in hook, size 12. Uh, you can tie this in a 14 or a 16 as well. For thread, I'm using 18 knot uh, nano silk in white, and I'm going to be coloring the head with an artist loft pen in red. For the rib, I'm using Semperfly flat tinsel 0.4 millimeter. It's copper gold. You could just use copper or gold. For the body, I'm using Kapok dubbing in March Brown by Semperfly. It's a dry fly dubbing. And for the hackle, I'm using Polish CDC in cinnamon, as well as Indian hen. It's like a mottled brown color. So I'm just going to wind my nano silk on the hook. I applied a little bit of wax to it. Just bring it down to the bend. Snip that off. I'm just going to bring my thread forward a little bit. Take your tinsel, and you could use a um, like gold tinsel is fine. You don't have to use this copper gold if you don't have it. Or copper. Just tie that in. Next take your dubbing. And this dubbing is really nice to work with. You don't even need to apply wax to the nano silk to like I normally do with dubbing. And then just build a nice tapered body. Next, take your tinsel, and I'm just going to put a little copper butt at the bottom here. And then just bring it forward in nice even spaces. And then tie that off. Snip that away. So now just go ahead, bring your thread over around the hook and around this loop a couple of times. I'm going to put my CDC into a dubbing loop. I'm just going to give it a little bit of wax. I um, have done it where I've I've tied in the CDC by the tip and wound it like a soft tackle. And the stem on the CDC is quite thick and I found it just didn't work very good on a smaller hook. It was okay on a size 10 or whatever, but on a 12, 14, it didn't work as good. So I've taken two CDC feathers and inserted them in my clip. I'm just gonna snip the stems away. And I'm just gonna insert my clip into the loop. And then just give your twister a spin. And I'm going to take my hackle pliers and attach it to the loop. Cut that out of there. And now just just wind it on like a hackle. It's more just to help it float in the surface film a little bit better. Also, it's very buggy. I just love CDC. I'm 
little bit of a thorax for the, the other hackle to stand out onto. Slip that out of there. Just brush this back. Next, you can take your hackle. And I'm just going to choose a feather of the approximate size I need. And I'm just going to take my feather and pull out the hackle a bit and just measure it and see how far it comes back. And then I'm going to peel off, if I'm looking down on the feather, uh, at the top of it, I'm going to peel off the left side. I don't want too much hackle on this fly. And then take the tip and just isolate it. And I've just clipped a little, snipped a little bit off there to leave myself a little anchor to tie on to. And then just go ahead and I was gonna apply some wax, but I must have dropped mine somewhere. I have another wax here. I'll just use this one. I prefer cobbler's wax for this. I think mine fell on the floor. So I just shorten up my thread there. And then just tie that in. I'm just going to take it and wind it. Probably one full wrap. Not too much. I love the modeling on this feather. And now I'm just going to pull my nano silk and pull the stem backwards at the same time and that should break right off. And now I'm going to take my red pen Color up my thread and whip finish. Using nano silk, I'm not going to apply any uh, resin or glue or anything to that. Just two whips, and that should hold nice. Snip that out of there. You can always brush it out a little bit needs it. And there you have it, my March Brown Soft Tackle. So to watch all of our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes or to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, please head over to our website at www.sfotf.ca. Thanks for joining me everyone. Take care, conserve the waters and tight lines.